In the quiet solitude of my room, I find solace in shedding the weight of my daily struggles. When the weight of stress becomes too burdensome, I immerse myself in a different identity. With delicate hands, I carefully select each piece of clothing, transforming into a version of myself that feels lighter, more liberated. The mirror reflects a young woman staring back at me, adorned in fabrics that cloak my worries and insecurities. As I adjust the wig and examine the reflection, a sense of relief washes over me. In this private haven, I am free to be someone else, unburdened by societal expectations. The soft rustle of fabrics accompanies my every step as I navigate the confines of my room. The click-clack of heels against the floor becomes a rhythmic escape, a melody that drowns out the noise of the world outside. In these moments, I can breathe without the weight of judgment, letting the fabric and makeup become my armor against the troubles that plague me. It's not about denying who I am, rather, it's an exploration of the spectrum of identity. In the gentle glow of my room, I am not confined by the constraints of gender norms. The gentle swish of a skirt becomes a dance, a graceful expression of the freedom I crave. With each movement, I leave behind the troubles that cling to me in my everyday existence. Outside, the world may not understand this ritualistic escape, this transformation into someone society might not readily accept. Yet, within the walls of my sanctuary, I find strength in embracing the duality of my being. The reflection in the mirror is a reminder that, despite the struggles and stressors, there exists a space where I can be unapologetically me, whether in trousers or a dress, a young man or a woman seeking refuge from the chaos of the outside world. As I step outside, the city buzzes with its usual chaos, but I navigate through the streets with a newfound confidence. The subtle sway of my hips feels like a secret language, a silent proclamation of the resilience within. Each passing stranger is oblivious to the internal metamorphosis I've undergone. In the corner of a bustling cafe, I find a seat and order a coffee. The anonymity of this space allows me to observe people without the weight of their expectations. I become a silent observer, sipping my coffee and losing myself in the stories playing out around me. Occasionally, someone catches a glimpse of my unconventional appearance, and I sense their curious glances. But rather than shying away, I hold my head high, embracing the enigma I've become. There's power in this vulnerability, a strength derived from choosing authenticity over conformity. As the day unfolds, I navigate the city's streets with a newfound appreciation for the diversity of experiences. The dichotomy of my existence becomes a source of empowerment rather than shame. I am a young man who, for a while, embraces the freedom to blur the lines society has drawn. With the setting sun casting long shadows, I return to the sanctuary of my room. The act of shedding the feminine attire is not a rejection but a transition back into the complexities of my everyday life. Yet, the echoes of the day linger, the feeling of liberation, the acceptance of self. In this ritual, I find strength to face the challenges that await me outside the confines of my room. The journey between these two worlds is a delicate dance, a balance between the expectations imposed upon me and the authentic expression I discover within myself. And so, as I lay the garments neatly aside, I carry with me the resilience gained from those stolen moments of escape. The young man dressed as a woman is not an escape from reality, rather, it is an affirmation of the vast spectrum that makes us human, a celebration of the diverse ways we navigate the complexities of identity and find peace within our own skin.